Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are just going to discuss about the hardware and software components that we are going to use throughout this tutorial series. The development board that we are going to use is PIC Development Board by NSK Electronics. This development board supports 40 pin PIC microcontrollers under PIC 16F and 18F series. And the microcontroller that we are going to use is PIC 16F 877A. This is the reset button of the microcontroller and this one is the onboard external crystal oscillator of 16 MHz provided to the microcontroller. And through this power jack, we can power up this development board using 12 volt 1 amps adapter. And this development board contains almost all the peripherals of the microcontroller such as 4 LEDs that can be used as output devices, 4 push buttons that can be used as input devices, and 4 7 segment displays for displaying numbers and using these pin nodes you can interface 16 cross 2 LCD displays to your microcontroller. We also have a 4 cross 4 matrix keypad that can be also interfaced to the microcontroller and we have an onboard relay and we have I2C interfaces such as TS1307 and 24C XXE prom that can be used for communicating and establishing I2C communication. And we have a ULN 2003 driver IC for driving relays. And regarding the programmer, we are just going to use Picket 3 as the programmer for PIC microcontroller. And the pinouts of the Picket 3 are as follows. Starting from this arrow mark, the first pin is the MCLR, that is the reset pin of the microcontroller. Second pin is VDD 5V and third pin is VSS ground and fourth pin is PGD and fifth pin is PGC and you can connect the terminals of Picket 3 through the pin nodes that is available in the development board and then you can connect the Picket 3 to your PC through mini USB cable for programming the microcontroller. If your development board is not showing these pin nodes or if you are not having a development board you can just directly connect the terminals of Picket 3 to your pinouts of the microcontroller and you can build this circuit either in a breadboard for programming the microcontroller. On the software platform that is used for programming is MPLAB IDE and for simulation purpose we will be using Proteus 8 Professional and these two are the softwares that we are going to use. Link for these softwares is provided in the download section below the description of this video and you can download this software using the link provided.